Hey, what's going on guys? Realm Gaming here, back with another video. Today's episode, we're going over Phase 3 Fort Restoration Druid in Season of Discovery. This guide is going to cover runes, talents, and rotation. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So, first five talent points we're going to be putting into Improved Mark of the Wild. This is just going to make our buff that we give out to our party and our raid that much stronger. Five really well spent points there. Then we're putting five points into Improved Healing Touch, reduce the cast time of your Healing Touch spell by half a second. So, Nature Swiftness, when activated, your next Nature spell becomes an instant cast spell. Really good in a pinch if you need to save somebody. Five points into Nature's Focus gives you a 70% chance to avoid interruption caused by damage while casting the Healing Touch, Regrowth, and Tranquility spells. Three points into Reflection allows 15% of your mana regeneration to continue while casting. One point into Insect Swarm. And then five points into Subtly here to reduce the threat generated of our healing spells by 20%. Five points into Tranquil Spirit. Reduce the mana cost of your healing touch and tranquility spells by 10%. And then here kind of comes the weird part of Resto Druid. We're not putting any points into Improved Rejuvenation. We're not putting any points into Improved Regrowth. Those two spells are very expensive to use. And in this phase, we're not casting them. Now, obviously, if you want to use them, you can put points here. If those are spells that you're comfortable with using, feel free to, but they're not going to be the most efficient spells to use. So that's why we're not putting points there. We'll be putting five points into Gift of Nature, increase the effect of all healing spells by 10%. One point into Swiftman, consumes a rejuve or regrowth effect on a friendly target and instantly heal them an amount equal to 12 seconds. So we will talk about this a little bit more here later in the video but this is going to be really core to our rotation and then this is also going to be something that we talk about here is improved wrath reduce the cast time of your wrath spells by half a second very important to put five points into improved wrath all right from a talent standpoint that's pretty much it let's go ahead and get into the runes so start with the head rune we're going to be going into improved bark skin your bark skin can now be cast on allies no longer penalizes melee combat speed or spell casting time and can be cast while shape shifted so this is just going to be really useful, right? You can throw it out, put it on your tank, and it's just going to absorb some more damage for us. Going into our chest rune, we have Fury of the Storm Rage. So this is going to be really key to our rotation. This is the five points in Wrath. That's kind of where that comes in. So reduces the mana cost of Wrath by 100%. And each time you deal damage with Wrath, you have a 12% of your next cast of Healing Touch within 15 seconds to be instant and castable in any shapeshift form. So this is going to be really good, right? When this does proc, we can use Healing Touch. We can get an instant Healing Touch off, which feels really good, especially in sort of like a pinch scenario. Now, it also reduces, like we said earlier, it reduces the mana cost of Wrath by 100%. So that's very important. And we'll get to this here in a minute, but Wrath is actually going to be core to your healing rotation. And let's just go ahead and segue into it since we're already talking about it. Let's go into our Foot Rune, which is Dream State. So your damaging spell critical strikes grant you 50% of your mana regeneration while casting for 8 seconds and increase nature damage dealt to the target by 20% for 12 seconds. So essentially what we're doing is we're using all of these wraths to kind of fish for a critical strike to proc dream state. So you want to try to proc dream state as much as you possibly can and the only way we're going to really be able to proc this is through spamming those free wraths. So right once you get the group kind of topped up this is something you're going to focus on. You're going to practice and get as much mana regen as you possibly can. On our wrist rune, we are running Efflorescence. So this kind of plays into the Swiftman talent that we're taking for Deep Resto. So your Swiftman now causes Efflorescence, healing all party members within 15 yards of Swiftman's target location for X amount every two seconds for 30 seconds. So this is going to be like a green circle that's put on the ground and party or raid members standing in it are going to get healed for a whole bunch so this is really strong right because now we're in 20 man raids we're not in 10 anymore so you're just going to see a lot more value from area of effect spells like this now the trick here is you can kind of cheese this with a rank one rejuvenation so the way we get this to proc right efflorescence procs through swiftman now if we go back to swiftman swiftman procs through a rejuvenation or a regrowth on the target so it's kind of like this weird sort of chain reaction but what you have to do 
is you have to find a target that has rejuvenation or regrowth on them already. You have to cast Swiftman on them and then efflorescence will prop. Now what you can do is you can cast a rank one efflorescence on something like the tank, something, you know, typically like a melee group where everybody's kind of stacked in together. And you can proc efflorescence for almost nothing if you're using a rank one rejuvenation. So again, the way this works is rank one rejuvenation on the target that you want efflorescence to go on. You'll swift mend them and then efflorescence will appear at their feet. So that's our wrist rune. Let's go to hand rune here. So wild growth is what we're going to be taking. Heals all of the target player's party members within 40 yards of the target player for X amount over seven seconds. The amount healed is applied quickly at first, slows down as wild growth reaches its full duration. So Resto Druid, this phase has really, really strong AOE healing, right? You have wild growth and then we have efflorescence that we just talked about. So super strong for just trying to top up uh, your raid in general, right? So that's wild growth. Let's go ahead and go into nourish. So heals a friendly target for X amount. Heals for an additional 20% if you have a rejuve, regrowth, life bloom, or wild growth effect active on the target. So Nourish is a pretty quick heal and it will actually out heal healing touch as long as you have a hot on that target to heal with. So as you can see at the bottom, this spell benefits and triggers all effects associated with healing touch. So the five points here that we put into improved healing touch, that's going to benefit our Nourish. Up next, we have Life Bloom here. So Life Bloom reduces the global cooldown on your rejuvenation and Life Bloom abilities by half a second and you gain the Life Bloom ability. So this heals a target for X amount over seven seconds. When the life bloom completes its duration or is dispelled, it is instantly healed for X amount and the druid regains half of the cost of the spell. This can stack up to three times on the same target. So you can use this to kind of spot heal around if you need to, but for the most part, you're putting three stacks on the tank that's taking the most damage. So this is a very efficient heal over time effect and it's one of the many reasons that we're not taking improved rejuvenation and our talent tree, Life Bloom just simply does pretty much everything better for less cost. Now, we did talk about Nourish earlier. One thing you can do, right, if you have a party member that doesn't have a hot effect on them, you can go back to Healing Touch here. Healing Touch is still pretty good, but if there's a hot up on the target, Nourish is going to be better. So that's something that you can kind of decide on the fly, but sometimes, you know, you could use a downranked Healing Touch. And then finally, of course, we do have Dream State, which we've already talked about. Spell Critical Strikes, Grinny 50% Mana Regen. This is where our Wrath kind of comes into play. Okay, guys, now let's talk about our healing priority. So let's just start with group healing. So your main group heal ability is probably going to be something like Wild Growth. Of course, we did talk about Efflorescence. Efflorescence, Swiftman, and Rank 1 Rejuvenation are going to be in our maintain columns so you're trying to basically for aoe you have something to maintain for single target you have something to maintain so this is something you want to try to keep down as often as possible is efflorescence and we're going to be doing that with a rank one rejuvenation swiftman combo and then for single target we also want to maintain three life blooms on whoever is taking the most damage typically the main tank right then for our single target healing, right, we're going to nourish if the target has a hot on it, or you can downrank a healing touch if there is no hot on the specific target. And if we do have a Fury of the Storm Rage proc, we can get those instant cast healing touches. And again, Fury of Storm Rage is right here, reduce the mana cost of our wrath, and we have a 12% chance to get a instant cast healing touch. And then of course our filler here, we're going to Wrath Spam to proc Dream State for our mana regeneration. And then we're going to be of course fishing for Storm Rage procs as well. Then sort of our emergency healing down here, right? We do have Bark Skin for the tank, right? So that we can reduce the damage that he does take in a heavy damage sort of phase. And we do have our Nature Swiftness that we take in our talent tree right here for an instant cast Nourish. So you can kind of save that for an emergency and then, of course, for emergency group healing, we do have our Tranquility spell. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We will see you on the next one.